Hi there. Today we will be talking about the latest Cractel UMTS and HSPA Plus module, the UC20. The UC20 is designed to provide customers with global network coverage on the connectivity of HSPA Plus and WCDMA. For a brief introduction, we'll begin by looking at the overview of UC20 family and some key features behind the UC20. In addition, we'll introduce UC20's driver list. And afterwards, we'll talk about how to use the UC20 with its EVB kit, as well as the QNavigator tool for evaluation purposes. Here is our UC20 family. And as you can see, there are three different versions of the UC20. This is the UC20E module, and it supports these frequency ranges. Here is the UC20A module, and it supports these frequency ranges. And this is the UC20G module, supporting global frequency ranges. UC20 UMTS HSP Plus module is based on the Qualcomm chipset, MDM6200. This chipset has an advantage of a long life cycle which can last until 2019 or even longer. UC20 is uniquely designed to have three side socket compatibility with our existing M10 GSM GPRS module. Customers can place one PCB footprint, which can be used by the M10 or UC20 modules. This UMTS HSPA Plus module can also support integrated GPS GLONASS, wherein it can work as a GPS only, or it can also work on a hybrid mode GPS GLONASS simultaneously. It also supports real driver for Android and Windows CE. Here is an overview of UC20 specification. As previously mentioned, different versions of UC20 can support different frequency bands. Uplink and downlink speed also varies in different modes. The supply voltage range of UC20 is from 3.4 volts to 4.3 volts. Typical value is 3.8 volts. UC20 has extremely low power consumption under slip mode, compact size, and wide range of operating temperature. UC20 supports SMS text and PDU mode and multiple speech codec. It has integrated the advanced echo arithmetic and can support a lot of network protocols such as PPP, TCP, UDP, etc. UC20 supports hardware interfaces such as USIM, PCM, UART, ADC, and 2.0 high speed USB. There are many enhanced features of UC20 which makes it an ideal choice for customers' various requirements. An example are GLONASS, RX Diversity, eCall, Quack Photo, Quack Locator, DTMF, Over Temperature, and Voltage Protection. The USB drivers of UC20 can be used in most operating system. UC20 also supports NDIS driver and USB real driver. Here is an overview of UC20 Mini PCIe specification. As UC20 Mini PCIe is developed based on the UC20 module, so most of their features are the same. Main differences are the supply voltage and some hardware interfaces. UC20 Mini PCIe supports voltage from 3.0 volts to 3.6 volts, where 3.3 volt is typical. Here shows you UC20 Mini PCIe's hardware interface. UC20 supports rich set of internet protocols as well as industry standard interfaces, which extends the applicability of the module to a wide range of M2M applications such as POS, industrial modem, car DVR, industrial pad, routers, and security applications. UC20 is supported in various operating systems and we have already prepared separate videos which you can refer to depending on the system you are using. Now that you have a general idea about the UC20, 
We will now show you a quick description about the evaluation kit and how to use it. These are the accessories of the UC20 EVB kit. We've got here the RS232 cable, the USB cable, the main antenna, GNSS antenna, a 5 volt DC adapter, RF cable, and the headset. Now let's take a look at the parts of the UC20 EVB kit. Here are the antenna interfaces of the UC20. This is the 3G antenna interface. And this is the GNSS antenna interface. And this is the diversity reception interface. The UC20 EVB has an integrated SIM card interface wherein a suitable SIM card is required to start the UC20 module. UC20 EVB provides a USB 2.0 high-speed interface. It is used for AT command data transfer and firmware upgrades. UC20 EVB comprises of two buttons and one switch. This is the power supply switch. Button 1 is used to turn on or off the UC20 module. Button number 2 is used to restart the UC20 module. The serial interface main port is intended for the communication between the UC20 module and the HOS application. It is a data and control interface for transmitting data and AD command. COM2 is a serial interface for debug purposes. L1 is power led. When lit, it means the power is ready. L2 indicates UC20 module is either on or off status. L3 is net mode led. It indicates module works on a 2G or 3G network. L4 indicates UC20's module working status. UC20 module provides one PCM digital interface for audio design. UC20 EVB is equipped with an external PCM codec which converts analog signal to digital signal. This has one analog audio interface for analog signal to either input and output via RJ11 or audio jack. This is the UC20 Mini PCIe's interface. It can be used to test UC20 Mini PCIe. And now, we will show you the operating procedure of the UC20. First, insert the SIM card into the SIM card holder. Then, we connect the antenna. Then, we plug the module into the AVB kit. Afterwards, we plug the 5 volt power adapter to the AVB kit where the other end connects to the outlet. Then, we connect AVB to PC with USB cable through USB interface. We can also connect the UART interface to PC with the USB to RS232 converter cable. For the time being, we will use the USB cable. USB driver and the USB to RS232 driver are in the driver disk which comes along with the EVB kit. Now, let's turn the switch on and L1 will be lit steady, which also means the power is ready. Then, we press the power key for about 100 milliseconds, then release it. L2 will be lit with steady green light, which indicates that the power is already on. And on the other hand, L4 will be blinking with a certain frequency. This indicates the network status of the module. To turn off the module, press the power key for at least 0.5 or half a second, then release it. Now, let me show you a demo about how to use QNavigator to test the basic functions of UC20. We mainly use the USB port of UC20 for communication. USB driver should be installed at the very beginning. After the USB driver is installed successfully, we can check USB ports via the device manager. You will find four ports. USB AT port, 
USB DM port, USB NMA port, and modem port. You can choose modem port to access the UC20 module when using QNavigator tool. Now, let's connect the module to the computer and install the QNavigator tool. For detailed installation procedure, you can refer to QNavigator user guide. After installation, power on the module and open QNavigator by double-clicking on the icon. On Select Module Type Interface, choose UMTS HSPA. Click Next. It will then show you a set of instructions showing the preparations before using QNavigator. You can also click PREV button to go back to the previous step. If you are already familiar with these steps and want to enter into the home interface directly, you can press escape key on the keyboard to skip it. Then the serial port configuration dialog would pop up. Please choose the modem port and then click the OK button to enter the main interface after the parameter settings are completed. This is the main software interface. Before testing the basic functions of the module, let's check some necessary information of the module first. It is shown on the middle column. First, please select Automatic Initialization option and click the Connect to Module button. The module will connect to PC successfully and enter initialization progress automatically. After finishing initialization, a lot of information about the module will be shown on the middle of the column. You can see module information here, registration information here, and SIM card information here. You may also click module information or registration information, SIM card information individually to get the relevant information you want. All the detailed procedure and executed AD commands will be shown on the right column. Now let's move to the SMS function test. Please click SMS button on the left side and enter into the SMS test interface. Here we can input the phone number on receiver column, SMS type on type button, and input the message in this box. After inputting the message, click send message and the module will send the message to the receiver automatically. Here, it shows that the message is sent successfully. The SMS message sending procedure is shown at the right side. R means the message receiver and S means the message sender. The voice call function test. Please click the voice call button here and the voice call interface will be shown. To make voice call, you can input the phone number you want to dial here. Then press call button. Let's try calling China Mobile's customer service number, 10086, as an example. You can input 10086 by pressing the number button and then click the call button to start a call. The talk time will be displayed at the top area of the phone number and the data area shows the operation process of 80 commands. To hang up, you can press the over button. When there is an incoming call from the remote side, the ring message will be displayed in the data area and the incoming call number will also be shown in this box. In the meantime, the buttons call and over will be automatically changed to answer and decline. To test TCP UDP function, click the button, input the APN and click PDP Act. This is necessary before establishing a TCP UDP connection. After activating PDP successfully, input the server IP and port here, and then click Connect. If it connects OK, you can input the data here and click Send button to send it to the remote device. And this box will show the data you received from the remote device. You will see all the TCP UDP procedure and the relevant AD command in the data area. It is not allowed to switch to another page or exit the program without clicking the Deact button. Let's click the Deact button and so we can move to the PPP function test by clicking the PPP button. Here, you can input the APN and click Dial. 
If dial-up is successful, IP address and DNS will be shown here. You can click stop button to cancel the PPP dialing while it's in the process. But when PPP dial is successful, you need to click the terminate button to disconnect dial. Once the PPP dial is successful, you will not be able to go to the other page until you terminate the PPP dialing. Here's the AD command function which allows users to query, test, and learn all the AD commands. When you select a certain AD command here, you can see its detailed explanation in the right box. Or you can input the keywords in the send column to query the AD command that you want. The results including the keywords will be displayed in this box. You can also search the commands in the defined catalogs. For example, click Serial Interface Control Commands. Choose AT plus IFC. The details of this command will show up. You can also click the send button and all information about this command will be displayed on the right side. At the top of this interface, you can see the hex expression of the AD command which can be very beneficial for programming at the MCU side. To test GNSS function of EC20, please click the GNSS button and enter into the GNSS test interface. You can select the USB NEMA port on this column. Before this, you need to check which COM port is the USB NEMA port on the computer's device manager. After choosing the proper port, please tick the Auto Start Stop GNSS. Now, you can click Connect, and the module will connect automatically. Open GNSS Engine and begin to get the location information. After the module successfully gets a fix, you can see the acquired UTC date, UTC time, latitude, longitude, speed, and some other parameters here. Additionally, you can also check the world map, sky view, signal columnar, Google Map, and NEMA data here. Now let's find out more about the QCOM function. QCOM function works the same way as our other QCOM tool, which is another application used on testing various AD commands. You can manually input the AD command you want to test here. For details, please refer to our user guide document. This is the whole demo of our QNavigator tool. We hope you'd like it and use it.